How many Stanley Cups can a team of 99 overall players win in NHL 24? We are going to have 25 years to work with here in franchise mode in NHL. After the 25 seasons, it cuts us off. It tells us to get off the game, go grab a beer, and watch the NFL playoffs. Did anybody catch the Bills and Chiefs game last night? I told you guys, do not bet against Jackson Mahomes. Amazing TikToker, an amazing football player. So let's go ahead and take a look at the roster that I've put together of the greatest NHL team in the history of the game. Also, you know the deal, right? The Jersey's boys, 1-10. to 10. I think they're pretty clean. I got a little Miami Vice theme going on here. So, here is the roster of the greatest NHL team ever assembled here in NHL 24. Of course, everybody on the team is going to be a 99 overall. Now, I did have to go with a lot of younger players because we're doing this simulation for a long time. I debated not adding Connor McDavid, but I mean, how could you not add him? And Austin Matthews as well is here. I believe they are the oldest players on the team. So, we have guys like Jack Hughes, Connor Bedard, Maddie Beniers, Lafreniere's there, Timmy Stu, Slavkovsky's a 99. Montreal fans are definitely very happy about that. Cole Perfetti, Trevor Zegers is here now defensively. We have Quinn Hughes, of course, Kale McCarr as well, Mo Sider, Bowen Byram, Kevin Korchinski, and Evan Bouchard. All are relatively young, I'd say, so we should have at least 10 to 15 years with these guys. I would like to go 25, but I mean, if we lose all our players and we don't have 99s anymore and we're not winning Stanley Cups, I'm probably just going to end it. And in goal, goalies were a lot harder, but we do have Dustin Wolf as our starter at a 99 overall, 22 years old, and our backup will be J. Jake Ottinger. So there is the roster. We're going to go ahead and simulate until we cannot simulate anymore and see how many Stanley Cups this team can win here in NHL 24. So before we go ahead and simulate, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on notifications so you don't miss a single live stream or video that I put out. And now let's head into the simulation. Also, the Edmonton Oilers have set an NHL record for Canadian teams as the longest winning streak ever. I'm kind of surprised by the fact that no Canadian team has ever won more than 13 games in a row. I know there was the ties back in the day, but still, I thought somebody, even the Gretzky's Oilers back in the 80s, how do they not win more than 13 in a row? It's crazy. While I was yapping there, we have started the season 13-0-0, so we're doing very good right off the rip here. Damn, we lost our first game to the Winnipeg Jets 6-3. We are still 27-1-1, so it's not that bad. So at the end of the season, we are going to go ahead and win 78 games, only losing 4-0 in overtime, 156 points. Obviously at the top of the Central and the top of the NHL, it was not really even that close. The Islanders won 52 two games and literally nobody else even won 50 games in the NHL this season so we were by far the best team in the entire league. Connor McDavid is going to do his thing 47 goals and 115 points leading our team followed by Kale McCarr who had 111. Cole Caulfield was up there 110. Timmy Stu had 106. Matthews 104 and Jack Hughes 100 point season. I mean we were the best offense probably in the NHL's history. Let's take a look at our goalies here. Jake Ottinger went 41 4 and oh 12 shutouts and oh my god those are a amazing numbers a 917 save percentage and a 192 goals against average obviously mcdavid's gonna lead for points in the nhl 115 mckinnon was not far behind with 113 kale mccarr had 111 cole coffee was up there basically oliver ford core was up there for the points and now for goals Nathan McKinnon is going to lead with 61, followed by Kucherov's 48, Ovi had 48, and Cole Caulfield 47. And we have made the Stanley Cup final in the very first season. We are up against the Red Wings. That's a weird team to go up against, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's go on and win our very first Stanley Cup of the video here in season number one. And we are going to get it done here in year number one as we absolutely bulldoze the Red Wings in the Stanley Cup finals in four games, a clean sweep. It was not even close, as it should be. We actually did end up losing two games in the playoff run. I was really surprised by that. I thought we were going to go 16 and 0. Maybe I guess we're going to save that for another season. Regardless, we are going to take home that Stanley Cup. And of course, the Con Smythe is going to go to Jack Hughes who had 12 goals and 27 points. I actually thought it was going to be McDavid, but maybe Hughes absolutely tore up in the postseason. Sadly, since we were the one seed in the entire league and we did sweep them, we're going to have to lift the Stanley Cup, not on home ice. We might actually be doing this a lot in the video as we're most likely going to have the higher seed in the Stanley Cup Finals every season that we do make it. But here's our captain, Connor McDavid, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first win for the Regina Goats here in the simulation. And now, hopefully, many more to come. 
So Jack Hughes is going to lead in goals for the playoffs with 12. He's going to tie with Austin Matthews, and for points, he will lead with 27. Kale McCarr had 22. McDavid, only 20. Kale McCarr is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross is going to go to McDavid, and the Maurice Richard to Nathan McKinnon. The Norris will also go to Kale McCarr. Con Smythe will go to Jack Hughes, the Vesna to Jake Ottinger, and the Selkie will go to Ryan O'Reilly. So I did forget to mention at the beginning of the video, every single player on this team has a 15-year contract. Now it's going to be 14 years. So we are going to go ahead and yet again dominate the regular season, this time going 75-5 and two overtime losses, good enough for 152 points. So I guess technically slightly worse than last season, we obviously are going to finish first in the entire NHL. Colorado is up here as well, Tampa Bay, Florida, and Buffalo. Yet again, only one other team is going to reach 50 wins in the regular season. Maybe it's because we're beating everybody. The good teams at least, they just lose to us every single time. Besides the five, actually seven times that we lost total. And again, McDavid. David's going to lead our team 46 goals, 117 points. Cole Caulfield had 93, a big season by him. Kale McCarr had 82. Connor Bedard, 40 and 40 for 80. Timmy Stu had 77. So our offense wasn't as good as it was in year number one, but still really well. I mean, I cannot really complain about that. Dustin Wolf's going to go 44, 4 and 2. Seven shutouts and pretty decent stats. The goaltending stats did take a slight step back this season. Dustin Wolf did become our starter. David yet again is going to lead all skaters in scoring, followed by Leon. Dry Dreisaitl, who had 112. Kyle Connor had 103. Johnny Hockey was up there, as well as Kirill Kaprizov. Now, for the goal side, Dreisaitl, Jack Eichel, and Alexander Ovechkin are all going to have a three-way tie for the Maurice Richard Trophy at 50 goals apiece. Now, I think somebody said whoever has the most points out of the three is going to win the Maurice Richard. It's not like the Art Ross. So that would technically end up going to Leon Dreisaitl, who had much more points. I mean, over 10 more than second place here. Also, I know that we are one year in, and this might be uh, not a fair question to ask at this point. But let me know in the comments below, how many Stanley Cups do you think this team is going to win by the end of the video? And do not cheat. Don't go to the end of the video and find out. Honestly, I think we're going to get somewhere between like 7 to 10 Stanley Cups. Somewhere in that range, I believe. And yet again again we are back in the Stanley Cup Finals this time up against the Boston Bruins so let's see if we can go on and go back to back winning another Stanley Cup starting off the season or starting off the video going two for two here in NHL 24 and we have done it for back-to-back -back seasons as we yet again are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup again sweeping the opposition in the Stanley Cup Finals this time being the Boston Bruins as we are starting out the video two for two so so far so good I mean what else is there to say we just literally cannot be stopped the best team of all time and Connor McDavid is going to take home that con Smythe 13 goals and 34 points or 31 points actually for the captain we are going to have to win it here here in Boston. Here's McDavid yet again coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the second straight season as the GOATs go back to back here in NHL 24. Now in the playoffs, McDavid is going to lead us in goals with 13 and points with 31, followed by Cole Caulfield, who had 11 goals and 21 points. Connor Bedard was up there with 20. Timmy Stu had 18. Slavkovsky had 18. He was a point per game. Connor McDavid is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard will go to Leon Dreisel of the Norris, yet again to Kale McCarr. The Consmith, of course, to McDavid. The Vesna will go to Dustin Wolf, and the Selkie will go to Sid the Kid Crosby. Okay, so it does look like we did keep everybody up else over the offseason as they should be here a lot of these players are still very young yet again we are going to dominate the regular season this time going 76 5 and 1 153 points obviously the best team not in the metro but in the entire nhl followed by the rangers who won 51 games pittsburgh also 150 so maybe the nhl is getting slightly better we might have some competition in the playoffs we could play either team in the stanley cup finals mcdavid's going to take a slight step back this season still scoring 42 goals but only 95 points Jack Hughes had 88, Robertson 81, Makar only 78, Quinn Hughes had 77, so it doesn't look like we were that great offensively. Dustin Wolf's going to go 41-4-0, five shutouts and pretty decent stats. For the entire NHL, a 37-year-old Patrick Kane is going to lead in points with 112, followed by Jonathan Marchessault's 108, Mark Scheifele had 101 on the goal side. Ovi's going to lead at 40 years old, scoring 57 goals, followed by Dreisaitl's 53 and Patrick Kane. And just like that, we are back 
back in the Stanley Cup Finals, this time up against the Buffalo Sabres, who did beat the Rangers in the Conference Finals. So let's see if we can go on and start the video off with a three-peat, winning three straight Stanley Cups. And the Regina Goats have done it. We have gone ahead and gone to a three-peat of Stanley Cups, winning three straight Stanley Cups to start the video off. We are absolutely dominating, this time beating Buffalo in a much closer series. They actually took a 2-1 series lead over us, but we ended up winning three straight and we won in six games yet again not at home as we are in buffalo the fans must be pissed as Connor mcdavid yet again is going to take home the con Smythe nine goals and 27 points for the best player in nhl history i am a little bit pissed that we haven't won one on home ice i thought it was going to be this season when we actually lost the game but then we lost two straight to Buffalo and well that kind of messed up our plans as here comes Connor McDavid for the third straight season to collect the Stanley Cup as the Regina Goats have now three-peated to start the video off so far so good boys I would like to mention that we also had 54 shots on net in the closeout game. Now, for the playoffs, obviously, McDavid is going to lead us 27 points. Jack Hughes had 21. Slavkovsky, 21. Jason Robertson had 20, also 12 goals. And there it is, the first three-peat in, like, over 40 years in the NHL, I believe, since the Islanders in the 80s. Patrick Kane's going to take on the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross and Hart Trophy. The Maurice Richard will go to Ovi and the Norris to Kale McCarr. The Conn Smythe obviously went to McDavid. The Vesna yet again to Dustin Wolf for back-to-back -back seasons and the Selkie will go to Leon Dreisaitl. So we are going to go ahead and actually have our worst season so far throughout the video as we went 66 10 and 6. Only good enough for 138 points. I mean our worst season is literally an NHL record of 66 wins. The Tampa Bay Lightning damn near won 60 games as they win 58. Winnipeg won 57. Vegas had 50. Connor McDavid's going to have a comeback season 47 goals and 105 points leading our team. Followed by Cole Caulfield's 89. Timmy Stu had 86. Kale McCarr was up there at 83, as well as Jack Hughes. Low key, Cole Caulfield has been producing basically the entire video. 35 goals, 89 points. Dustin Wolf is going to go 36, 4, and 3. Seven shutouts and pretty good stats. His goals against was very good. As Jack Eichel and Jonathan Marcheseau are going to tie for the most points in the NHL at 115. Followed by Miko Rantanen's 113. McKinnon had 109. McDavid 105 on the goal side. Ovi will lead with 55. Actually, him and Rantanen are each going to tie 55, but Rantanen does have more points, so it looks like he's going to steal that Maurice Richard. Patrick Kane had 52 somehow, even at 38 years old. And just like that, we are back in the Stanley Cup Finals, this time up against the New York Rangers, who we all know simulate very well in this game, so this could be a challenge. But let's see if we can go on and win four straight Stanley Cups here in NHL 24. And we are going to tie the New York Islanders for the most Stanley Cups in a row at four apiece, as we are going to go on and win four straight I do believe the most Stanley Cups in a row is the Islanders in the 80s, but I could be wrong by that. Regardless, we have gone ahead. It was a much closer series. Yet again, we're going to win in six games this time over the New York Rangers. As Kale McCarr is going to take home the Con Smythe, five goals and 24 points for him. One of the best defensemen of all time. He definitely will go down as that by the end of his career. And yet again, for a fourth year in a row, we are going to have to raise the cup, not on home ice, as we are here in the garden. And here comes Connor McDavid. Come to collect the Stanley Cup for the fourth straight season as we just continue to absolutely dominate. Now, in the playoffs, obviously, McCarr is going to lead us in scoring with 24 points. McDavid had 12 goals and 21 points. Jack Hughes had 21. Timmy Stu, 21. Cole Caulfield had 20. Miko Rantanen is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, and the Hart Trophy, while Jack Eichel is going to win the Art Ross, the Norris, to Adam Fox. Con Smite 2, Kale McCarr, the Vesna to Dustin Wolf for three years in a row, and the Selkie will go to Alexander Barkov. Yet again, we are going to dominate the regular season, this time going 77-4 and one for 155 points. This is by far our best season in a hot minute, a couple years at least, as we are going to finish first in the NHL. Followed by Toronto, who won 54 games. Winnipeg was up here with 56. Columbus won 50 games as well as the Vegas Golden Knights, New York Rangers, and Ottawa Senators. Connor McDavid is going to lead our team in goals with 47 and points with 112. 
Jack Hughes also had 112. Timmy Stu, 98. Cole Caulfield's up here with 96. Kale McCarr had 93, also 22 goals. Dustin Wolf's going to go 48, 4, and 0. Seven shutouts and very good stats. Oh, under a two goals against per game and almost a 920 save percentage. He, again, is probably going to win his fourth straight Vesna trophy. Connor McDavid and Jack Hughes are going to tie for the most points in the NHL at 112, followed by Nikolai Ehlers, 110. William Nylander had 103. Bell Buchnevich was up there. Now on the goal side, David Pasternak's going to lead with 57. Followed by Ovi's 52. Rantanen had 48. McDavid, 47. And Nate Dog had 46. This guy's on an absolute tear in real life. I'm willing to bet... I've been saying this like every single video, but he's 100% going to win the Hart Trophy. And we are yet again in the Stanley Cup Finals. Already up 1-0 the series. I definitely messed that up, but we are up against the Ottawa Senators, a Canadian hockey team. But unfortunately for them, we are trying to go for five straight Stanley Cups. So let's go on and see if we can do that. And we are going to make NHL history here in the modern era as we have won five straight Stanley Cups with a team full of unbelievable players. Of course, all of them are a 99 overall, so we should win every Stanley Cup, but I'm glad EA's simulation engine has remained consistent throughout the video so far. Connor McDavid's going to take home his third con Smythe, I believe, of the video. 15 goals and 30 points in the playoffs, probably his best playoff run so far. Again, we are not going to win the Stanley Cup on home ice. I'm praying for one of these victories to be at home, hopefully, eventually, as here comes McDavid coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the fifth straight season as the Regina Goats are now going down as the greatest team in NHL history. But we are not done yet. I want to win like 10 Stanley Cups. Let's see how far we can take this. Jack Hughes is going to take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy while the Art Ross is going to go to McDavid and the Maurice Richard to David Pasternak. The Norris to Kale McCarr again. The Con Smythe yet again to McDavid. The Vesna to Dustin Wolf, and the Selkie will go to Rossi of the Minnesota Wild. Rossi or Rossi I don't even know how to say his name. We are yet again going to dominate the regular season this time going 73-8-1 good enough for 147 points. Obviously the best team in the the entire NHL, followed by Tampa Bay, Winnipeg, Colorado, and Florida. Meanwhile, McDavid still doing his thing at 32 years old, 44 goals, 112 points, followed by Kale McCarr's 102, and Jason Robertson, who had 100. Connor Bedard had a pretty good season as well, and for goalies, Dustin Wolf is going to go 46 and 1, two shutouts, and really not the greatest stats compared to what he usually does in a season. Leon Dreisaitl will lead the entire NHL in points with 116, followed by Jack Eichel and Connor McDavid, who each had 112 apiece. And for goals, it's going to be Pasta, who had 64 goals, followed by Dreisaitl, 60. Mark Scheifele had 57. Connor had 51, and Jack Eichel, 40. Oh, wait a minute. Jack Eichel. This dude has been showing up later on in his career. And predictably, we are back in the Stanley Cup Finals for the sixth year in a row as we are up against the New York Islanders. So let's see if we can go on and win our sixth straight Stanley Cup in the video. And of course, we are going to get it done as we win six straight Stanley Cups in a row. It's got to be an NHL record. I mean, we have just absolutely dominated the competition throughout the entire video. And yet again, we're not going to win it at home. You know what? I don't know how many more years I'm going to hop in here and take a look at us winning the Stanley Cup on the road. I'll tell you what, next time that we win the Stanley actually the first time that we win the Stanley Cup on home ice is when I'll jump in. But we are just dominating six straight, and it doesn't look like we're slowing down anytime soon. Kale McCarr is going to win the Conn Smythe, five goals and 20 points. As yet again, here comes our captain, Connor McDavid, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the Regina Goats for six years in a row as we are the greatest team in NHL history. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? Connor McDavid is going to take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy while the Art Ross will go to Leon Dreisettle and the Maurice Richard to Pasta, the Norris yet again to Kale McCarr. The Conn Smythe as well will go to him, the Vesna to Spencer Knight, not Dustin Wolf. Okay, that's very new. And the Selkie will go to your mom's a hoe, Sebastian Aho. Also, Corey Perry did sign with the Edmonton Oilers, so everybody hide your mothers. And yet again, we are going to go ahead and win 75 games, losing three and four in overtime. Good enough for 154 points. Obviously the best team in the entire NHL. Toronto was second with 53 wins. 
Winnipeg was up there. Vancouver had a pretty good season as well as Boston. Jason Robertson's actually going to go ahead and lead our team with 104 points, followed by Jack Hughes' 100, also 49 goals. Timmy Stu had 93. Matthews had 90. First season that I've actually seen him show up. Trevor Zegers, 83. Bedard is way down there as well as McDavid, who only had 68 points. As Jason Robertson will lead the entire NHL in scoring, followed by Mark Shifley and Jack Hughes on the goal side. Past is going to lead with 52, followed by this guy, Rene Dezabens. On the Montreal Canadiens, scored 50 goals, followed by Hughes, 49. Jack Eichel had 45, still putting up numbers. He honestly really turned his NHL career around. He's putting up a lot better numbers than he did earlier in his career. And yet again, we are going to get it done as we swept the Florida Panthers in the Stanley Cup Finals. Still yet to win a Stanley Cup on home ice. Hopefully that'll happen eventually in the video. If not, I honestly might cry. Jason Robertson is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Pasta, the Norris to Evan Bouchard. So he's finally stepping up. The Conn Smythe will go to Kale McCarr yet again. The Vesna to Jake Ottinger, and the Selkie will go to B. Hickey. The Regina Goats are going to go ahead and win 67 games, losing 9, 6 in overtime. Good enough for 140 points. Again, the best team in the NHL. And Hughes is going to end up leading our team in points with 97 followed by Trevor Zegers is 93. Jason Robertson had 87. Timmy Stu was up there. McCarr had 79. Matthews, 77. Dustin Wolf is going to go 45, 5, and 4. Five shutouts and pretty mediocre stats, especially compared to him. Kuzmenko is going to go ahead and lead the entire NHL in points with 114. Followed by Pastas, 111. Drysaddle had 108. Catton had 108. Nail for the goal side. Kutrov is going to lead with 57. Followed by this guy's 56. Jake Ottinger is going to go 52, 3, and 1. 10 shutouts and amazing numbers. He is definitely going to win that. Vesna trophy and we are yet again going to take home another Stanley Cup as we defeat Florida in six games in the Stanley Cup finals that is eight straight for the Regina Goats as Quinn Hughes is going to take home the Ted Lindsay the Hart Trophy and the Norris the Maurice Richard will go to Nikita Kucherov and the Art Ross to Kuzmenko Kale McCarr yet again is going to take home the Conn Smythe Dustin Wolf will again win the Vesna and the Selkie will go to Hickey again we are going to absolutely dominate 72 wins seven losses and three in over overtime at the top of the central and the entire nhl washington was also up here pittsburgh vegas and los angeles jack hughes is going to end up leading our team with 56 goals and 103 points he's in his prime of his career right now when hughes had 101 cole caulfield 100 timmy stew is up there as well as evan bouchard with 86 points dustin wolf is going to go 45 4 and 1 four shutouts and pretty mediocre stats to his standards at least is going to go ahead and lead the entire nhl in scoring with 109 points, followed by Clayton Keller's 108. Oshie had 104. Jack Hughes was up there. Now for goals, Jack Hughes will lead with 56, followed by Kaprizov's 50. Kyle Connor had 49, and Lucas had 49 as well. And finally, 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 after nine long years, nine straight trips to the Stanley Cup Finals, we are about to lift the Stanley Cup on home ice for the very first time in the video as we defeat the Washington Capitals in, I believe, five games in the Stanley Cup Finals. We pretty much dominated them, but I knew this was an opportunity I could not pass upon. Jack Hughes is going to take home the Conn Smythe, 15 goals and 32 points. He's been our best player the last, like, three seasons. And finally, we can raise the Stanley Cup on home ice. Finally! It's taken us way too long to do so. Also, nine straight Stanley Cups, an NHL record. As here comes our captain, Connor McDavid, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time on home ice as the GOATs are yet again Stanley Cup champions. Quinn Hughes is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross will go to Lucas and the Maurice Richard to Jack Hughes. The Norris as well will go to Quinn Hughes. I don't know if I said that. The Calder, or Con Smythe, I mean, will go to Jack Hughes. The Hughes brothers are killing it. The Vesna to Dustin Wolf and the Selkie will go to Hickey yet again. All right, so I've been thinking, since we're so goddamn dominant and we have won, what, nine straight Stanley Cups at this point, I'm just going to simulate until we lose in the playoffs. Again, we are still very dominant as we go 78, 4, and 0 for 156 points. 
The LA Kings were pretty good. Anaheim, St. Louis, Pittsburgh. Cole Caulfield's going to lead our team in scoring with 97 points, followed by Robertson's 95. Matthews had 85 and 51 goals. Timmy Stu was up there. Dustin Wolf went 52, 3 and 0. Nine shutouts and very good stats. As Jack Eichel's going to lead the entire NHL with 104 points, followed by Kaprizov's 103 and Elias Pedersen's 103. Now on the goal side, Doug Wilcox is going to lead with 59 goals. I can't. EA Sports, who comes up with these names? How how are they generated? I want to know those details. And just like that, we have gone ahead and won 10 straight Stanley Cups in a row as we sweep the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Stanley Cup Finals. Cole Caulfield's going to take home the Ted Lindsay and Hart Trophy while the Art Ross will go to Jack Eichel, Maurice Richard to Wilcox, the Norris to Evan Bouchard, Con Smythe is going to go to Jack Hughes, the Vesna to Dustin Wolf, and the Selkie will go to Hickey yet again for four years in a row. Obviously, we are still absolutely dominating the NHL. 75, 6, and 1, 151 points. We are going to be the best team in the NHL yet again for a decade straight, followed by LA. Minnesota was up there, Buffalo, and Columbus. Cole Caulfield's going to lead us in scoring with 94 points, followed by Robo's 90. Timmy Stu had 87. Quinn Hughes, 82. I don't think he's on our team anymore. Dustin Wolf is going to go 52, 6, and 1, 11 shutouts and pretty good stats. As Timo is going to go ahead and lead the entire NHL in goals, He's going to tie for goals at 60, and for points, he's going to lead with 111. Followed by Pedersen's 103, Rantanen had 99, Suzuki 99. For goals, other than him, Reich is going to have 60 as well. He'll tie for the Maurice Richard, but I think the other guy's going to win because he did have way more points. And of course, yet again, we are going to win that Stanley Cup for 11 straight seasons, I believe, Neil, as we swept the Philadelphia Flyers in the finals. Cole Caulfield's going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy. The Norris will go to Quinn Hughes, the Con Smythe to Jack Hughes. Vesna to Dustin Wolf, and the Selkie will go to Hickey yet again. I believe that's five years in a row so we are going to take a slight step back i guess winning only 68 games this season 138 points the top five in the nhl were us la vancouver vegas and montreal connor bedard is going to lead our team in goals with 45 and points with 88 followed by maddie beneers who also had 88 lafreniere had 83 jack hughes 82 timmy Stu, 82 dustin wolf is going to go 49 11 and 1 seven shutouts and pretty decent stats i'd say helmerson is going to lead the nhl in scoring with one 108 points, followed by Olsen's 107, Eklund had 104, Rieger had 100. On the goal side, Rieger is going to lead with 57. Actually, him and Wilcox are going to tie at 57 apiece. And somehow, we actually clutched out a Game 7 victory over the Penguins. They led 3-2 in the series. I thought this was our time to be done, the dynasty over. Honestly, I'm debating just letting you guys know when we win the Stanley Cup every single season, because it's pretty automatic at this point, honestly. So, we yet again go on and win the Stanley Cup up as we sweep the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Stanley Cup Finals. I believe that's 13 in a row. I could be wrong, but... I will keep you updated on how many more we actually win throughout the simulation here. We have now won 14 straight Stanley Cups in a row as we defeat the Detroit Red Wings in six games in the Stanley Cup Finals. That is now 15 Stanley Cups in a row as we sweep the Washington Capitals in the Stanley Cup Finals. And after 15 straight years of winning the Stanley Cup, our run has come to an end. We didn't even make the playoffs. But the Tampa Bay Lightning would go on and win the Stanley Cup as they beat the St. Louis Blues in six games in the finals. It actually really fell off a cliff this season. We would end up dead last in our division going 22, 52, and 8. And that is going to do it for the Regina Goats dynasty in the NHL. 16 straight titles is absolutely crazy. And that is going to do it for the Regina Goats dynasty here in the NHL. It's officially come to an end after 15 straight Stanley Cups in a row, and we are probably going to go down as the greatest NHL team in history. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I would like to say thank you all for watching, and until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.